everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a fuchsia, fuchsia cuttings. Now, here you have, here I have a climbing fuchsia, or fuchsia. As you can see, it's quite tall. And I had this plant for about two to three years. Now it's getting thin at the bottom, as you can see, it's getting a lot of, you know, less stuff growing, so it's quite thin at the bottom. So I'm going to take more cutting out of it and produce few more, few more plants. So I will possibly take the cutting here, this joint, just above the joint here, and that will give me a branch spreading up in that direction towards that so if i take a cutting let's take this leaf out so i can show you better if i take a cutting just about the here somewhere here so i got all this all this it's um quite uh, lengthy stems i can take cuttings out of and quadruple my fuchsia, climbing fuchsia. And as in this branch, I do have a few growing upwards, training to go up, training them to go up. So hopefully, I'll show you in the next video how we are going to. Uh, we'll, do a, we'll do the cutting and we'll show you the procedure how to take fuchsia cuttings let's go back over so you can see right, before you start cutting make sure your scissors or pruners use a wipe to disinfect the the blades so you, your plant does not get wound and catch any diseases right so what we're going to do we're going to cut our the cuttings right so here I'm taking cutting here leaving a, a stems out sanding here so I'm going to cut it here Take this branch out and we'll make a few cuttings out of this. This branch. Now here we're using a plastic food container. Uh, you possibly get it from you know when you do your shopping in the supermarket they tend to put grapes or um, fruit other type of stuff in it so I'm using this basically um, so this will act as a propagator uh, so what I've done I put uh, using a normal compost from the garden soil I, I put some water in it, weighted it up, uh, put a couple of, we've done a few holes at the bottom so the water drips. Right, and what we're going to do, we are going to cut the cuttings and put them in there so they will root. Now, this is a lovely branch we have here. A bit of the branch. Now you can take so much cutting out of it. So the object for the cutting is to cut it near the growing um, node. Alright, so I'm going to take start taking cuttings now. So what we do, try to cut as close as possible to the growing nodes. So we'll do this. 
Right, as you can see, so we cut it roughly, roughly about here. Right. Now, if we leave the leaves too long, or here, we can get rid of this and cut the leaf up slightly, make it smaller so that way the leaf does not take in a lot of nutrient from the roots, growing roots. So what we're going to do, we're just going to pop it like this here. So that's one of our cuttings done. So we're going to do another one. So we'll cut it here again. Let's cut it roughly here. Okay, now, as you can see, we have another stem growing here. We can use that for the cutting as well. So we'll get rid of this. And we will shorten the leaves. So we don't need a large leaf, do we? Shorten it up a bit. And now the growing node is here, by the way. So I got so much stuff going on here. So I need to cut a bit more off. So let's cut it, slide it off a bit more. All right, and then what we do, just stick this one here, like this. And hopefully we should get some roots from here. All right. And so what we do, we keep on doing this till we get enough, we think we have enough. And then you can literally make hundreds and hundreds of cutting out of, if you think you don't need it, sometimes you probably think you died on the leaf, so just get rid of it. And then what you do, you just, I've got two nodes here. I can have a growing node here and here, so I'll use this one. And then we just stick it in there like that. Okay, let's do some more cutting. We'll come back in a minute. All right, this is almost tip of the push here. So I'm going to get a cutting here. And the node is just down there, as you can see. Like, as you can see, there's a node here. So cut a bit more down a bit. Yeah. And for this cutting strip, just push it in, the, in into the soil. Right, so let's find another one. So in a couple of weeks' time, we we'll leave it outside in a window cell you can put it on a window cell away from direct sunlight so we'll hopefully we'll have a few lovely young fuchsia plant we can grow from cuttings so Some of these cuttings will die off, so, but we don't have to worry about that. So we have a few here anyway. So we are, if we can get a couple of those out of these cuttings, that'd be nice. But you know, we know most of them are not going to survive. So if we get, I don't know how many I planted here. So out of all this, if I could get six, seven, eight, or five six of them even that's a success here we are so we're all done so what we're going to do now we're all done just to see check them they're all in nice and firm right we'll put the lid on let's put the lid on nicely tightly and so the moisture stays in. So a couple of weeks time from now, today being the 1st of May, So 
first of June 2019. What am I talking about? June, first of June 2019. And in a couple of weeks' time, we should get. We'll make an update. Lovely roots should be forming down here the bottom of the soil so as soon as we see some lovely shoots popping up at the bottom of this plastics container see-through container we can report it and we make an update of this thing so we can see what's happened keep you updated All right and see how many of them have survived so as we said in about two to three weeks time we will do a quick update right so as you can see the, the humidity start going higher inside the box and that hopefully should do the trick once again thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos please make sure to click the like and subscribe button and I hope you like this video so we will be keeping the update the processes of our cutting of um, a little what we're trying to do make a little plant of fuchsia climbing fuchsia plant thank you so much